Hello friends, this is Cold Run back with more Dragon Age Inquisition. We are here in uh, Cultland. Uh, we are here in the Winter Watch Tower, uh, where we were uh, exploring in southeastern hinterlands. And yeah, we met this cult that is not exactly welcoming the... Oh god, I always friggin' do that. We met this cult that, that's... It's, what the reason is that it's the jump button in Final Fantasy XIV. And that's kind of my normal, like, oh, I'm just talking and walking around. So we met this cult that sort of is okay with the breaches, because they see them as cleansing the, I don't know, cl like cleansing before the rapture, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, but I wanted to ask, though, before we really dive in, is I saw a tool tip, um, or, or one of those tips when, you're log when, the, when the loading screen comes up, that said... Uh, when you claim a landmark, it makes the Inquisition more knowledgeable about an area. And I wanted to know what that was about, like what that meant. Do, is is all that means the codex entry that it gives me? Because like when I clicked this thing, it gave me the codex entry about the son who went off to just hide and drink himself to and drink and like be lazy, and who sent um, a soldier in his place back saying like yes I am the son that sort of thing like is that all it means or does it give a practical benefit to anyway um, there's a few options we have here we can go to that breach clear it and then probably <laughs> prove ourselves to um, Colty McGee out there the woman who like was like prove to us that you're worthy that you can do your, do the thing with your hand but first let's check out this purple area because that's something I definitely want to look into um, that is the that's where Ritz I think was hiding raider hatchet a warrior hatchet no I'm not going to use that um, yeah so we're looking for Ritz what's what's it telling me is near or maybe it's something down below So where is Ritz? Ritz, Ritz, Ritz. Actually, is it even Ritz we're looking for who here? Shallow breaths. Yeah, the, no, this is not Ritz. This is the um, the refugee. So there was a refugee back at the crossroads who was dying, and her son had the potion. Her son has joined this cult, so we got to find him and get to, get the thing. Climb. I don't know if I've seen ladders before. Ooh, lore. Queen Asha of Antiva. There are those who believe the tale that Antiva owes its independence to the looming threat of the crows. Yet this story, largely spread by the crows themselves, is no more credible than the promises of a market stall huckster. For the truth of the matter, we look instead to the Palace of the Kings in Antiva City, a grand statue of a woman in Ravani, Ravini, Ravini, Revain the royal garb, towers over the entrance, her watchful eyes keeping sight of everything happening within those walls. Asha Subiri Bahadur Kampana, Queen Mother of Thetis. Where the matriarchs of Ravain arranged the marriage of... When, when the matriarchs of Ravain... Oh, so they're a matriarchal society. And that, may, that might make sense about why... Um, I think, is that where... No, that's not where... I can't remember where... Um, God, I can't remember her name. My memory is the worst. Um, Cassandra. That's not where Cassandra is the princess of, is it? Um, I thought it was somewhere else, but that might be wrong. When the matriarchs of Ravain arranged the marriage of Princess Ashad of Islay to King Alonzo Campana of Antiva, it went unnoticed and unremarked by their contemporaries. The eyes of Thetis were on the wars of Orle and Navarra. Navarra, that's where she's the princess of. Uh, the marriage of a minor princess of Ravain to an almost powerless king was beneath their consideration, yet this wedding was, in retrospect, perhaps the most important event since in Thetis' history since the blackening of the Golden City. That's probably hyperbole, but that's okay. Queen Asha was a skilled tactician, seeing the military ambitions of Tevinter, Navarra, and Orle. She concocted a plan. Antiva was too prosperous to escape its neighbor's avarice, 
It had no means of raising an army both capable of defending off both Tevinter and Orle without impoverishing the kingdom. If she was to safeguard her people, it must be through measures stronger than steel. The queen spent decades making alliances in, ancient Ravine, in the ancient Ravine way, marriage. She wed her many children and grandchildren strategically into nobles' houses. Nobles' houses? I guess that means typo. Noble, into noble houses um, across the continent. Within 30 years, Antiva was so well connected that any hostile action against it would force half the nations of Thedas into war. She's like, she's like a, a Game of Thrones superhero. Um, the blood of Queen Asha runs in the veins of the Empress of Orle, the Prince of Starkhaven, King of Navarra, and seven of the Dukes of the Anderfels. Even some magisters of the Tevinter Imperium have ties to the Antivan royal family. Asha's web of blood ties forces most of the continent to remain at peace with Antiva, or risk terrible consequences of family dinners. From In Pursuit of Knowledge, Travels of Chantry Scholar by Brother Genetivi. That is really cool. That is very cool to know. I am excited to go there. That sounds like a scheming, crafty place, and I like it. Alright, so let's climb. What's going to be up here? Are we going to see Kulti, Kulti Magu up here? Yep, Kulti Magu. I greet you. My name is Hindu. Ah, oh, you look like a jerk face. Your mother can't breathe. Your father sent me here for potions. What? She was fine. She hadn't had the breathing trouble in. All right, I can help. Oh, you're not a jerk face. I have some already made. Go, take it to her now. Bless you. Thank you. That's that's absolutely the opposite of what I expect. I saw him there sitting with crossed arms, and I expected him to be like, "That's not my problem." Um, but no, he was he's cool with that. Nice, thank you, Handel. And he like it's not like he ran away because of that he did, he thought she was cured. It sounded like. Um, why is the game telling me to still look here? Oh, the missing Inquisition scout is here too. You know what? I'm gonna. Is there a cost to running back to town? If it's po when it's possible to avoid it, I don't like having doing like. I like doing following up on main quest on single quest lines when possible. It's not always possible, but kind of doing one and going back rather than gathering five and then just doing five because I kind of lose track of what I'm doing and I'm just randomly I get to the point where I'm just randomly collecting stuff. Hurry. Get her that breathing potion. Yeah, like before we continue searching for other people, let me get her that breathing potion. But first, let me explore the top of the tower a little bit because that's different. Going up the ladder, seeing what's up here. Looting the loots, amulet of willpower. What else is here? Wait, what was that? I should have. Pieces found. I found a piece of something. Is it a collection? Oh, okay. I found a piece of. Okay, pieces of an. The fall. Pieces of an old Tevinter mosaic are scattered across the hinterlands. If recovered, they could be reassembled. Whew. Okay, 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 okay. The thing is, I can already sense this coming. I'm gonna get to a point where, like, I found 11 out of 12 of all the collectibles, and I'll never be able to finish it off. So let's finish, yeah, because there's all these collectibles, and I want to remember where I've been, let's finish at least exploring wow. this area before we head back. Yeah, yeah. Now, I was, I was expecting him to be the jerk, and here I am being like, I want to find more pieces of a tapestry. Your mom's breathing can wait. Yeah, we're not doing that just yet. We are going to head back and... What are you... You're doing the same pose. Who is that? Someone crying with a sword or covering, covering her face with a cape and a half-moon thing. It's repeated over there and over there and over there. Yeah, and all these people are praying to that person. Is there like, yeah, there's like a snake on the bottom too. Someone crying with a snake below. I don't know what that means. Um, 
yeah, so I'm going to take this moment to actually head back to the crossroads. And All right, we're approaching approaching the, the, the woman with breathing troubles. Um, I guess I talked to you. Please hurry. Here you go. The potion and instructions on how to make it. Silas, bless you. Or the maker. Or whoever. It, it doesn't matter. Just thank you. I'll give it to her right away. If ever I can help the Inquisition, you have my word. I may ask for a favor. Shallow breath completed, so let's talk to you again. Thank you. And blessings upon the Inquisition. That's... That's it? Thank you. And blessings upon the Inquisition. So, this is a... So, like, this feels like a... So, was there a reward for that quest that I'm just not seeing? And that's, like, a... I guess that's a real question. Like, is there a reward that I got? Or is it just the promise of something may change later? Like, maybe I'll come back here and... Like, I, I understand that that might be a thing. That maybe I'll come back here and she'll be awake and she'll be like... Thank you, my lord. Thank you. Here's my here's Excalibur. Um, but absent that, there's no immediate reward. Is that right? What the fuck is a goat doing on the beams? How did I not see? Oh my god! How do I take a screenshot again? Okay. I'm sorry if this goat is your pet or something, but, you know, times are hard and we all need to eat. Oh, God, I can't get it up there, can I? Thank you, and blessings upon the Inquisition. Oh, I... <laughs> I thought... I thought he saw me kill the goat in the rafters and was like, thank you for killing the goat, <laughs> that the ram that was bothering us. Blessings upon the Inquisition. No, that was, I just happened to press X near him. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so we cleared out that thing. Um, next, we are going to try to find Ritz. Well, yeah, let's, so, so this scout was looking for Ritz. Didn't have any luck. And how the heck do I get back there? Winter Watch Cave. Rifts of Dwarfsons Pass. Did I not unlock a way to fast travel back to Winter Watch? Because that changes kind of my calculus of how many quests in an area I do. Um, I guess not. I guess I really just have to run back there. Alright, I'll see you when I get back there. Okay, I just had to cut back here for a second because I just found out that pressing L1 pulls up the potion menu. In combat, I guess. I don't know if it does it out of combat. So, there's... Okay, there's a breach here. We're going to try to take on the breach. A Fade Rift, rather. Where are the enemies? A lesser terror. Whoa, look at that. That's like long and gangly and awesome. We're disrupting the rift again, I guess, because I'm, I'm having trouble seeing where to... what to attack. Do we just... what do we do? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Oh... Uh, I guess disrupting the rift is always like a good thing, right? Yeah. I think if I can disrupt the rift, I do disrupt the rift. Okay, so there's a, there's wraiths over here. I swear there was a terror just a second ago. Oh, there you are. Hello, terror. Oh, now we're closing it. Okay. Got it. And there's loot. Increased our influence. Wooden crow figure. This must be... Is this an actual crow or is it an Antivan crow? I don't know. Rare room material. Power plus one. All good things. What's this? Everything burning as the mages laugh. My lord, you need to stop. You're not sleeping. I can't. We're not safe here. They'll keep coming back. 
So this is a group of refugees that the mages were messing with, I guess. Yeah, it looks like... Or did they say... I even forgot that they say the Templars or the mages. It almost doesn't matter, because both of them suck. Both of them are messing with people. Okay, finally, we just got the, the last piece of ram meat. Uh, so let's head back to camp. We have a couple of quests to turn in. We have the, the requisition thing and the ram meat. So yeah, let's head back to camp to turn those in. I didn't get anywhere near Winter Watch. I just kept following the path of the rams. We're, turn, we're turning in one thing in this tower over here. Inquisition task for trees. Yes. Craft item. Nice. Orlesian nobles are climbing. Okay, yes. So the Orlesian nobles bought this because it because these tapestries have like Inquisition swag. Sweet, we acquired Inquisition tapestries. Power plus one. Now, do you have anything new for me? If my interest is that. Yes, you do. Yes, it will. What is it? You may want to look into this. Oh. Hinterlands Field Town Requisitions. Yeah, I'm good on that. So can I just turn that in right now? Okay. Each Inquisition rank unlocks access to perks for the Inquisition, which can be purchased for at the core table. Inquisition perks plus one. Okay. Boosh. Oh, I love that sound That as the, the Inquisition sword in the eye rises. Anything else for me, friend? Dispatch for you. Yeah, report. What is it? See for yourself, sir. Oh. Hinterlands Iron Survey. Yeah, we we're just on a roll here. Let's just turn in all the things. Hinterlands Geological Survey. Several dwarven academics at the University of Orlay. I didn't you know, I didn't know that dwarf were part of Orlay. I assume it was all human. I don't know why. Uh, have requested samples of ore from the Ferelden Hinterlands. Reward plus one power. Do it. Okay. More influence. I will take it. And there's another quest that appears here. Is this just another requisition? What is it? Could prove useful, sir. Yeah, it's just another random thing. Hinterlands Iron Survey. Quest completed. Do I just turn that in here, or is that something I take to Orlay? Ooh, elf fruit. God, I'm. I just I love just picking up random elf fruits. I don't know why. So is this something I turn in? Was this a requisition? Okay. I don't know if I should be saving all this stuff instead of just turning it in for more power and influence. I feel like I'm not doing right. Ugh. Oh, and look at you brazen as can be now. You know that I don't care about your wool anymore. So you're just prancing into the town, into the camp. Um, yeah, I'm going to hold off on actually... You know what? No, I'm I'm not going to hold off. I'm going to take a trip, quick side trip back to the blacksmith in Haven and see if I can actually use all this onyx and ore and stuff for stuff other than power. So let's first check weapons. These are asking about metals, right? Is it just... Yeah, so I think I shouldn't be spending all the... I shouldn't be just spamming all these requisition stuff. I think that was foolish. I made a mistake. Sorry for this kind of detour. I'm just... I don't like just plowing ahead and not knowing what I'm doing. Alright, so I have a schematic to... Yeah, so that's what these are. That's what these are. I don't... Yes, yeah, so that, I guess that's a question. Is... But was the stuff I was just turning into requisition, should I always, if I if I have the chance to turn it into requisition, should I? Or is or will that stuff be the same thing as I can use to make crafting? Weapon modification, what is the, aiming is different. So this is the grip slot, this is the arms slot. What slot is this? No, don't. How do I find out more about, how do you see, okay, what is this? This is an arms, I don't know what an arms means. Oh, it's like the arms of the little wings that it has, the little, okay. It's like, it's not arms like weapons, it's arms like actual human arms, like flailing out. 
is it is that what it's called on the crossbow is a crossbow have is that is it the crossbow's arms okay just to update you, I've, I've been looking through my character's gear and I've come to the conclusion I can sell most of this crap. And that most of it is crap. Um, crap, crap, crap. Ooh. So I came back to the War Council table here just to accept, uh, to get the rewards from that little gold repeatable quest. And... Ooh, Lady Esterly. Is Lady Esterly someone we should know? I don't know. But now I have Inquisition perks I can pick. I have a new perk. Um, how do I see what perks I already have? Oh, this doesn't pick it right, so... I can equ Ooh, okay. Okay, this is my first perk, I think. This is exciting. So, let's see, what do I do here? Forces, underworld knowledge, um, detailed study of underworld customs and their brutal but practical applications. Opens up new dialogue options related to criminal activities and grants 50% XP for each codex entry unlocked. Mas Masashi's method, a methodology dis Masashi's method. A methodology developed by an Orlesian blade master and used by chevaliers to analyze their own performance in combat. A 5% increase in XP to earn from killing foes. It's alright. Secrets. Arcane. Let's see what I have to do to unlock these. Two points in category. Oh, so I have to, like, tech into a tree. Arcane knowledge. Um, a detailed study of magic and the places and creatures that interact with it opens up new dialogue options related to the fate or arcane studies or dialogue options. Um, this is something, again, I, I love these role-playing games that actually use the role-playing aspect that where it, that involve like, involve like new dialogue and not just pure stats. Um, yeah, grants 50% arcane for each, 15 XP for each codex unlocked, okay. Optimal cutting. What does that even mean? Uh, details. Oh, harvesting. Detail studies show how to get the maximum usable harvest from each plant. Ten percent chance to receive extra herbs with each harvest. Sounds okay. Training and spotting where the civilization breaks, where the pattern breaks in nature and civilization, grants a significant increase to the discovery range of the searching action. That's very interesting. Gain a collection of tier one herbs. I guess this is does this is this just a one time deal maybe? So some good stuff there. Connections. This is Josephine, am I right? Um, nobility knowledge, detailed study of politics, rhetoric, and those who wield them to best effect. Opens up new dialogue options related to nobles and politics. Fifty percent for each codex entry unlocked. Good. Thanks to a few well, uh, sterling reputation. Thanks to a few well-placed acquaintances and a carefully crafted reputation, merchants will pay the Inquisition 10% more for items sold to them. It's okay. Uh, from an expanding network of con uh, favor for favor, expanding network of contacts among artisans, suppliers, and noble patrons, merchants will offer the Inquisition a 10% discount on their goods. That's all right. So this is the real money one. Inquisition procurers can leverage uh, rare stocks. They can leverage. Inquisition's reputation to purchase a shipment of rare and valuable raw materials for crafting. Kind of another one-time deal. And then Inquisition, improved infrastructure, improved coordination and infrastructure. Um, detailed, okay, first is history knowledge, detailed study of Thetis' past, opens up new dialogue options related to history and the Chantry. Grants an additional 50% XP for each codex entry found. Antiven tailoring. Antiven tailors are famed for their ability to hide pockets seamlessly in garments. A uh, few words to the Inquisition's friends to the north, and its forces can carry more items in the field. Um, better uh, tempered glass flasks. Better techniques in glass working make more durable flasks, allowing more potions to be carried safely at one time. One more potion slot for all party members. 
This sounds like the most practical tree, but I really want... Oh, this is a codex. Yeah, I think I'm going to get history knowledge here. Do I want that? There's no new dialogue. Oh, this is... Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm going to get history knowledge. Let's start with that. So, I can actually right now do address the Chantry in Val Royale. Do I want to? The recommended level is 4 to 7. I'm level 4. That sounds like a bad idea to do that right now. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save that for, for later. Mistress Lavelle, do you have a moment? Oh, Josephine is asking for me. Um, I actually don't remember if people have been. I think earlier on they were. I'm just gonna go with nothing I can't handle. Deal with a few whispers and sideways looks. Hmm. Let us speak with the staff regarding such conduct. If we're to convince the world that Andraste's herald is an elf, the Inquisition must give you its utmost support. Oh, look at you. Stories of wild Salish elves have grown even more outrageous. Um, yeah. It's... How have the rumors gotten worse? I would prefer not to speak to them. Give me something. Stealing children, selling peasants to slavers, burning down villages, using infants for blood magic. Those are the stories about your fellow Valish. I won't repeat what they said about you. This, is, this seems... No, I am the least expert person possible on this topic. I know nothing. Um, it seems... It sounds at least vaguely like the um, slurs you hear against Roma sometimes, um, in pop culture anyway. Stories are dangerous, stories are nonsense. Yeah, they're dangerous. The humans telling those tales are the first to take a knife to someone with pointed ears. My clan's defended ourselves against them more times than I can count. Hmm. Really? I had no idea. I will do what I can to end this land of hell. May help if I know more about how you and your clan live. Uh, ooh, this is. I was happiest in the forest. Um. I mean, I kind of want to do it. Okay, let's. This is. This seems like a tricky one. Poorly, I've always wanted more. No, I was happiest in the forest. Maybe that seems probably a little bit more optimistic. Not so different from humans, no. Uh, not for outsiders. It's between these two. And through hard work or not for outsiders. I think she's trying to be like good ally Josephine. So let's do through hard work. Getting up before dawn to fish, constantly mending wagons and tents, spending days on the hunt. I still can't believe city dwellers have food delivered straight to their doorsteps. Really? I never considered it extraordinary. Haven is so far away from home. You must miss the people of your clan. <sighs> no, I'm not going to do that. Not right now. But look at that. It's right there. Do I press the button? I don't. Um, All my yeah. friends are there. Before I came to the Conclave, the clan was my whole world. I'd like to see them after everything is done. I hope you get the chance. Whether you're with them or not, being the clan of the Herald of Andraste will mark them in history. Um, ooh, book. I'm not the first famous elf. This must be the new option that opened to me because of the perk I picked. Um, that's what I'm guessing. Um, that time elves were noticed. I'm not the first famous elves. They won't Want yeah, I definitely want to learn more about elfin history. There have been other elves close to Andraste. Shartan led an army of them in her name. Shartan. This is true. I'd forgotten. Oh, the Chantry is not fond of Shartan. Why not? Perhaps we should draw parallels. Hint that Andraste's favor has returned to an elf in our time of need. Ah, smart. Thank you, Helen. There are some letters I should write. 
That's so cool, that dialogue option. That's so cool. Um, I guess what anything through. Make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Um, no, I think I've done that Speak before. Later. Okay. The last thing I want to do here is... Oh gosh, there's a codex that opened. No, I think I'm just short on time. I think I've been playing a while. I'm going to call it here, but next time there's a codex I want to look at uh, that opened up. Um, I think it was a codex on foot soldiers, believe it or not, something like that. I'm not going to look at it now. Um, yeah, I'll check the codex and then I will head back to um, Winter Watchtower again. Oh, just one one last thing before I hop off. Um, I I did a bunch of stuff this session that I am cutting out of this of this of this video. Um, like, I, I sorted through a ton of, like, inventory management and crafting a couple of items, nothing too big, just some upgrades. Um, I'm assuming that that stuff is interesting to no one, and I'm the person who reads codices, because I think that's kind of cool. Um, I think, I imagine that, like, that's not something people would want to see. If I'm wrong, if you actually would like to see each upgrade I make and each item choice I make, um, the time I spend at the blacksmith and the time I spend trying to figure out like, oh, that's what a grip is versus that's what a haft is. And, oh, that's why I can modify this. Definitely let me know. Um, yeah, oh, but basically the upshot is I gave my character slightly better gear. You know, I, gave, I turned a defender's coat into a... I crafted a, you know, a, a flowery defender's coat or an improved defender's coat or whatever it is. Um, like for... Cassandra, for instance, like I made her a enduring defender coat and sold the other one. And I sold a lot of the gear and weapons I had. So I'm going to skip a lot of that stuff in the videos. I'll, I'll mention after I do it. But um, yeah, let me know if that's okay or if you would prefer that I not skip that part. So, yep, thank you, and I will see you later. Have a good night.